Yo guys, what is up? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. So today's gonna be a pretty short video. I just saw on the forums that uh, a frightful feat fetish. I don't know. It comes to Tamriel with the return of the Witches Festival. So this is a put out uh, sometime today. I don't know, but we're gonna go through it. I uh, love the Witches Festival. The Halloween is probably well. It's not probably. It is the best time of the year. Let's uh, let's be real, fellas. I really want this spooky dog, not gonna lie. A lot of these uh, polymorphs and cosmetics are coming back, like the scarecrow and the, the pumpkin face. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. A ghoulish gala. The Wishes Festival begins next Thursday, October 21st at 10 a.m. Mark that in the calendars, boys. And we'll return Tuesday. Uh, we'll run until a Tuesday, November 2nd. During the spooky spectacle, you can acquire unique event specific rewards, including plunder skulls, boosty EXP event tickets and collectibles to take part in the frightful festivities number one navigate to the holiday section on crown store and acquire the free quest complete the quest to witch mother's bargain to receive the witch mother's whistle memento i'm assuming it's like the the double xp thing we always get they just call it something different if you complete the quest in previous events you don't need to acquire the witch mother's whistle or complete the quest again and you can use the whistle already found in your collections i don't have this because i don't think i partook in the last event because i'm an animal Number three, use the whistle to receive a 2 eye 100% uh, ooh, buff and summon the Witch Mother's Cauldron. Use the Witch Mother's Cauldron to transform your character into one of the undead. That's pretty cool. Note that you do not have to use the Witch Mother's Cauldron to gain the XP buff. Just the whistle. The cauldron cannot be summoned in serial. Unfortunate. I'm sure we could have used that in some way if you could. All right. Earn repulsive rewards. It's interesting. During the Witches Festival, when you defeat a boss monster, you receive a plunder skull container in addition to your regular rewards. These blood curdling boxes have a chance to contain some of the following items Fragments of the New Witch Tamed Bear Dog, pet called Bone Dust Pigments, okay. Combine 10 fragments to this collectible. We got the Hollow Jack, we got Dramora's style. I'm not sure if that's new. Uh, Witches Festival themed recipes, Witches Festival themed furnishings. And furnishing recipes, if you guys are going to be participating or watching Adeltia's uh, Spooktacular home event, I'm sure this will kind of help you if you want to enter that. Uh, I'm not sure how that process works, but we're definitely be watching on his stream. Uh, Bewitching uh, alchemy ingredients and as sort of creepy and other valuable items. Uh, probably just potions. Let's be real. Even better, the first time you slay each different type of boss, you receive a special Dramora Plunder Skull. That can contain the above items and also has a chance to include these additional rewards to Dramora Motif Chapter, uh, Witch's Festival Ritz. You complete the Ritz to unlock an achievement that grant you the Witch Hat Collectible and the Witch Title. Okay, the Witch Hat is pretty cool. I wonder if they have uh, pictures of it later. Um, I missed out on getting that last time. I really regretted it. So, uh, Next is the Glamoral Armor Outfit Style Pages. Not sure what that is. Uh, maybe it's just down here. Great dancer weapon style pages. A new marshmallow toasty tree emote. Delicious. A new bonfire memento room box. I guess. Oh, this is like the I, I, this is the hollow jack. I'm not sure what other motif they're referring to. Uh, do we want to watch this chat? Yeah. We'll watch this. Okay. S spooky pooper. Hollow jack. We got uh, Scale Boy emote. We got the. Yeah. I mean, I expected that to be a little more dramatic, but okay. Depending on the type of boss you defeat, you'll receive one of two different Dramora motif pages. Alright, so this goes on a little while. Final Arena boss dropped Dramora motif pages for bows and legs, a Dark Anger, Geyser bosses, Kragler and Focus Points, Horror Storms, and Zone Dragons drop Dramora Moti pages and daggers and gloves. Dale bosses drop Dramora Moti pages and staves and belts. Final Dungeon bosses drop Dramora Moti pages for helmets and maces. Public Dungeon Imperial City bosses, Quest bosses drop Dramora Moti pages for shields and boots. That's confusing. I don't like that. Final Trial bosses drop Dramora Moti pages for swords and chests. World bosses drop Dramora Moti pages for shoulders and axes. Well, that, that kind of blows. We won't be uh, won't be running trials here on the channel, so rip. Uh, no matter what monsters you hunt during the Wishes Festival event period, you'll always receive bonus rewards for your efforts. In addition to the above goodies, this year's event also introduces a new daily quest titled Plucking the Crow. This new quest is available each day for the Witch Mother 
uh, from which mother uh, Terma, Teerma, I don't know, who is within uh, Olive's Brewery and at every impersonal tent in Tamriel, her daily quest charges you with collecting 50 cursed feathers found with plundering skull containers. Once you've collected all 50, you can transform them into an effigy that you can then use to transport yourself into a special realm to battle a new world boss monster. Good luck. So the uh, person area event tickets throughout the Witches Festival event, you can earn up to two event tickets from the first boss you defeat in each day, allowing you to earn up to 26 tickets total. Don't forget to don't forget to loot. Don't forget to loot those dropped tickets, or you might lose them. You actually have to loot them at blame for this event. The person area event person will stock the following items. Okay, go. The the unstable monolith fragments, uh, because I didn't get them. I bought I was stupidly bought the griffin stuff, the ten 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 ones. I've never had the monolith pet, so I didn't get the griffin, but now I can. That's cool. Of the deadless flinch rune it okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The first two fragments of the Doom Char Plateau, the Morphling Collectible House, okay, the Scorching Pillar and the Searing Column, the Marshmallow Tasty Treat, the Bonfire Memento fragments for the which tame bear dog yes yeah, called bone dust pigment so we definitely get in the pooper a host of spooky furnishings group of parakeets which is grab bags contain collectibles from previous witch festival events very cool this is the first opportunity to begin collecting the fragments from the doom char plateau house the q4 event morphling collectible this is really cool Yeah, we definitely check that out in game. Don't forget to acquire this house by the end of the year. You need to have an unstable monolith pet to morph and all four uh, upgrade fragments. Keep an eye out uh, for announcements 2021's remaining events. Learn how learn about how morphing can look. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Learn learn about stuff. Share your spooky creations with us. Um, so I'm guessing they're kind of doing like a a pseudo spooktacular thing, you know, kind of like similar to Deltia's doing. You know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, yada yada. Leave all that there. But yeah, it seems like a pretty cool event. Uh, I'll be grinding. I definitely want to get a, my hands on... It would be nice to get this uh, this plot of land, they say. And the thing I'm really, really wanting is that witch's hat. And this pooper. The pooper so cute. But okay, guys. Well, that was it. Hopefully this is a pretty short and informative. And uh, it's pre-friday so happy pre-friday to everyone please like and sub and i'll see you all in the next one peace